Good night, good night everyone and welcome to the conversation. I'm your co-host Alistair Sampson and joined by us as always we have Christopher Crossley aka Mr. Crossley sir and also we have Mike Wilson aka the monster trainer himself trainer Mike Mike what going on Chris what going on how everything going with you guys yeah 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 all right all right can't complain at all but you know it is with the Christopher Covid checking <laughs> Well, as, as as always, it's another week. Thank you to everybody that's tuned in tonight. We have another great conversation tonight. I hope everybody had a great last week as we go into this one another Tuesday. Um, as usual, guys, how has the last week been? I mean, from last week Tuesday, you know, the the lockdown being what it is, and then you know the little changes that we have in the in the regulations and all that with curfew. So, how has things been for you guys? Hmm. Well, things have been pretty good. Um, I mean, just staying focused on exactly what needs to be done. Um, I personally, I did have to do some bit of adjustment in terms of um, contacts with persons, um, communication, business-wise, and stuff, um, based on changes that are happening. So you're gonna find that that shakeup is happening a lot right now. But um, I think so far it's happening pretty okay it's just a bit of trying to manage it much better especially this weekend because this weekend is like um pelican b <laughs> if it is you know just a just real lockdown you know yeah right 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 what um, this week was a really really awesome week so far um we had some some big adjustments me this week we, we, we learned we learned some stuff this week and got some stuff started this week so does that really it is a really exciting build up, but also really stressful build up because with everything that you change and you do, there are things you have to adjust and, and, and compromise for and whatnot. So it was pretty exciting, but it was a long sleep. That's what it is. Well, for me, same old, same old, you know. I, um, I have been always in a constant, a constant state of looking at myself, self-inspection, adjusting what needs to be adjusted. Um, you know, this week I'm actually doing a, a, a water fast. And, you know, even like today it's my second day on the fast and a lot of things came to light. You know, people just look at fasting just from the physical side of it, intermittent fasting. But, mm-hmm. you know, I always say fasting has a, a physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual side to it. And, you know, I tend to look at it in that way. So for me, the last week, has always has always been about you know my personal approach you know so hey it's just been a, a productive productive week can't say anything more than that anything else bad everything's been on point you know yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so this week we're talking about managing the hats we wear <laughs> um, i want to start i want to start actually with mike because i want people to understand we're not talking about managing identities we're not talking about you being a person at home and a different person in work and then holy mary on sunday and then by the bar cussing and swearing on the friday we're not talking about that <laughs> right? we're talking about managing the different hats we wear as individuals in our in our circles in our families in our space so as mike would have mentioned there they, they launched some new stuff this week and i'll actually give him you know his 15 minutes of fame here to, mm-hmm. to, to yeah, yeah, yeah. what is what we now know as fit x studio mm-hmm. now, uh, yeah 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 something he has put on so i i want this to actually be the intro into into the conversation mm-hmm. well i truly appreciate that right um first of all um what we what, what we look to do is that we will not share so much with COVID that we tried to create something that was a platform for people to come and be comfortable, to come and experience their journey and really go upon their individual journey of fitness, of becoming who they want to be as well. So it's right. not just a, a, a workout app. Um, we have a platform where we have live workouts, right? For the, every day of the week we have live workouts. Then we have personal trainers that will do check-ins. We have personal trainers one-on-one available. We also have motivational videos that will be accessible there as well. Right. Um, content that can really, really keep you inspired and moving because not everybody is self-inspired. Not everybody can just get up on a morning and say, I want to work out, I want to get fit, I want to keep the momentum going. They need sometimes a voice to say, 
this is where you should be. This is what I see in you. This is what you, you, you have within you, that kind of thing. So we try to create a platform that can give that to everybody, mm-hmm. you know? Um, so it was really exciting putting it together. And even during that process, there were many different things that we had to become to do that, right? Right. So similar to like what we talked tonight, we had to, I mean, as an entrepreneur, it, it, it sometimes, um, it sometimes seems impossible the amount of different hats you have to wear in your own business to get it from the start to launch or, what, or whatnot. You have to do so many different variations of yourself um, to get things done. But there are so many different ways you can get that to happen successfully. And I really wonder, I really hope that we can get that across tonight to people so people can actually do that. Not just in a business, but in their general day to day life. Right. Okay. Okay. So with this, with this venture, what which hat do you see this as now? Because you already you already know the, the form of a, a business owner. Um, you already had a, a, a personal trainer. Where do you see this as a, as a hat? Where, where, where would you classify this? Um, the thing is, uh, when I when I look at when I look at it from two different perspectives, I will say this right. Um, there's a point in everybody everybody's life whether you're employed or self-employed that you realize that there's a need for expansion right. a need for personal growth a need for also for you to give back as well so this is going to be a, tra- a time for us because we're also working with other trainers now to help them build their business so it's also a, the, the, the heart of mentorship which i'm also going to be with the other trainers right. to help them to develop as well so it's, it's not just a case of, of me being stand alone anymore but now us there's a team of people that can actually you know, produce great content, help clients the proper way, and eventually impact their life. They help their business to get to a place where it can give value to their life, not just you know you're, you're laboring and toiling, but you're seeing actually reward early in the career as well. Because I will, I'll be honest, as a personal trainer and as an entrepreneur, the beginning was hard. Right. And if I can make it easier for somebody else, mm-hmm. I will gladly do that. So this platform also allows us to do that as well. So as a mentor, it's going to allow us to eventually give back and help other traders in the industry to grow as well. Alright, and I, I like the fact that you mentioned um, the heart of a mentor because we know those things come few and far between. They are actually quality mentors that are actually, you know, good in their space and not um, online gurus, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I say that because you know, there are a lot of people <laughs> claiming to be a lot of stuff out there right now so i would say all right for us for us in this group here as, as men we're um we're husbands all right we're business owners um Alisa has the additional hat of a father right so how do you all see the hats you wear or actually is there is there times where you see yourself having to literally see where you take off this one hat and put on another or do you see it being seamless and i'll start letting you go because you wait you wait you it. <laughs> oh, i'm not being put on the spot or anything but yeah um it, it's really interesting that, that they brought that question in that particular way in the beginning or, or something in your mind you think it's a matter of just you know you just had to pop off this hat and put on this hat and walk into a room and where if it if things switch out just pause take off that hat put on this hat um after a while you realize that you transition and you you merge uh, yeah you transition that's what i'm looking for transition into the different roles um seamlessly all right in the beginning it 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 would be tough especially when you have a new hat to put on think about it like it, it really is like putting on a new hat you have to break in that new hat into your head right everybody head shape unique so when they get that new hat and they put that hat on their head you have to make sure it fit you have to make sure it adjusts because it is uncomfortable the first time you put it on your head not used to the hat and the hat not used to you so that bit of adjustment comes within the process as well and after a while um especially from switching between the hats over and over again you get yourself in this particular routine so the transition feels a bit seamless but you always have to be open yourself not to be complacent based on all of these changes as well so yes you have the transition behind it but you still 
have to avoid being complacent in terms of the different roles that they're going on to and you think that okay i have this covered i'm overconfident about this thing i have this dung pack and you neglect certain things that are going on here especially um you know the rule at home or, or the rule within a business as well so you just have to make sure that you're mindful of that during those transitions yeah. i think um, that's so true that's so 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 true because um it it, it does it, it, it does it is a, a literal change in sometimes of one percent to the other so for example um i mean alice gets a less better than me because i don't have kids yet but um, even as a, as a, as an uncle, let's say, right? The way he interact with his son nephew, or the way Alice may interact with his son or daughter, will be different from how he has to then switch sometimes to the moods he has to with, with his wife. Mm-hmm. Even some of the conversations you can have, and some of the content you can, you can have in that conversation, is very different. Right. I mean, we are we are more or less brothers here, right? Mm-hmm. And our conversation goes to how we speak to sometimes, and some people the outside will be very different. Correct. And you have to then also understand that it's. It's if you if if you upgrade with your hat in certain places, it could be perceived differently. All right. You know? Sure. Um sure. and for example for, for, for example, I'm a I'm, I'm a very I like to be happy, I like the joke, I like to play and that kind of thing, right? But if my wife and I are dealing with a serious matter and I must not joke right judge, you can't tell me something serious, guys. <laughs> Martin, you know. I would no longer have that. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have my head. <laughs> right? But it, it's really interesting understanding what is needed in this situation. Mm-hmm. And then you as an individual being able to, to make that transition. So like Alice, I say being aware and mindful is really important. So that you know when to switch and know when to slip in and slip out and that kind of thing. Alright, yeah, I, I, I have to agree there. Um, knowing when to that that being aware of that is vital um it's not something that always happens automatically sometimes you would catch you wouldn't realize that you're still in one mode but yeah. you're dealing with somebody else in that same manner so even with let's say some people who are accustomed dealing with children i've seen this before and then when they're talking to you as an adult they're still talking to you when like you know, Sing some voice. Yeah, so they still Do this so we wouldn't get the juice box. <laughs> you know, yeah, they still, they still have you in that kind of frame. Yeah. And it's only as the conversation develops, you'll find they actually switch into more that adult zone. And literally, I mean, some people you might have to hope them and you know, let them be aware that they're speaking to you differently. Or otherwise, they actually snap out of it themselves. Right? But what I want to touch on is what Alistair mentioned with that uncomfortable moment mm-hmm. right where you're actually growing into a hat at times because i remember during my my it career where i i was literally upset with everything i hated having to do it but when i saw the need of helping people be efficient to make my job easier i put on a new hat of a trainer mm-hmm. right I, my my temperament, my character back then was not of a trainer. I had to learn how to you know, speak with people, how to speak on a, on a level and terminology that they would understand and not be there watching me like, what the hell are you saying, sir? You know, I had to literally find a way not to, to, to reinvent myself to wear that hat. So there was that uncomfortable moment until I was comfortable in that space of wearing that position. Right, so there are moments where you realize that you have to adjust. You know, like how those those um trucker hats had the clips in the back. You take it off, and you adjust. <laughs> you adjust <laughs> the space where it's supposed to go, yeah. and then you put it back on. That's exactly what we have to do sometimes when we realize there's a position or a need to be filled, and you do have to just take the uncomfortable route for now until you're growing to the position. Yeah. Right. So that is actually a, a really good point Alastair is there. So as we're talking about the, the multiple hats, um, being the entrepreneur, being the business owner, um, being the person with a family, we understand that wearing these hats also come with a certain weight. Uh, right? Mm-hmm. 
and there are times that you may think that you, you want to take off this hat to give yourself some ease right in your um experience have you come across where you wanted to take off any of your hats and if so which one did you take off <laughs> and i know we all still married so it's not your wives so <laughs> <laughs> so which one hmm. oh boy that's, that's that's definitely funny though <laughs> I think I was, I, right. This is kind of how I see it, right? Um, um, generally, people, well, for me, I categorize my hats in two different particular categories, right? One is when you speak about your 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 day to day life stuff, which is whether father, mother, sister, or brother, son or daughter, friend, um, enemy, <laughs> right? Um, employee, employer. These 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 hats to me are. Let me leave it in for you, but these those those hats are more or less what I said. Your general life pattern. Sometimes that basically can't change. You can't really take off. You can't stop being somebody's son or daughter. I mean, people say what they want to say, but at the end of the day, that is you know, um, these are hats that. And as a husband, you don't ever want to have to take off that hat. Right. Correct. Me, those hats are hats that that are are fitted. Fixed. Fixed. They they are not adjustable. They don't slip on, slip off. It's like the um, you know the green suit people as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that is yes. You have to put everything on top of that. So that's why I see it. Like those are foundation hats. So you put that hat on. That hat is the keeper. You don't adjust that hat. You adjust the hat, but you don't take it off. Right. <laughs> but you know, believe it or not, the tough. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I saying, believe it or not, unfortunately, you have persons who think otherwise with respect to that. You know, there are people who are married. I know we'll tell us that I'm well, gonna lie with the boys. Married hat off. It have consequence of that. Alright? Yep. Fatherhood hat off. You, you, you're representing a company as the case may be. You, you finish work, but you still need people um printed logo outfit. But you tell yourself, well, work hat off. Oh. And then you start caring about yourself in a particular way that does not align well with the hats that you wear. And there are fallouts and consequences with respect to that. A lot of companies have strict policies with respect to how you're supposed to carry about yourself, even if you're outside of the company, as when you're wearing on the company logo and how you're representing the company. Right. And and that honestly is a small piece compared to how, how you represent your own home as a husband and a father in terms of how you carry about yourself as well too. So um, it, it's it's good that we are saying that you know hey. The husband hat is like the default hat that that on twenty four seven. Unfortunately, not all men think like that, right, and, and 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 that and it have a fallout and a consequence behind that as well too. So right. it's it's a mental I'll, switch. I'll add this, yeah. yeah. I just thought so like there there are sometimes when um a particular hat me me also I, I wouldn't say strict you. How I wanna put it? I right, I'll give an example. When I was younger, no, my dad is a pastor, right and when I was younger, um, there were times when, as a young man, things will happen. I mean, like anybody else, you'll get upset about something. Mm-hmm. Right? And when I get upset, people will look and say, the pastor's son should be getting vexed. Right. Right? Yeah. And in my mind, I was like, okay, when did this had become like a prison for me emotions now? Right. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, I didn't want to take up the hat neither. You understand? Correct. So I didn't want I, I didn't want to take it off, but I just wanted it to be I wanted to fit different. You understand? Mm-hmm. Not that we really restricted me from doing. You ever put on like put on one of those one of those adjustable hats and you put yeah. it too tight and after a while all this other hood. It's cut off so clearly Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I had to make an adjustment to the hat because honestly right. you know, there, there would have been the option to take off the hat. People say that. Mm-hmm. Just take it off and you can you can get back you can do what you want. But I had to think about it from a perspective of that I really want to do that. You know, so instead of doing that, I have to make an adjustment. And likewise, like in life, as an entrepreneur, sometimes you feel as though you want to fling with somebody has the hat. Mm-hmm. Right? And I remember I remember a couple of years ago, um, um with a business, I wanted to fling this hat so far. Mm-hmm. Because 
yeah. time wasn't I wasn't getting the time, it was not for the words I wanted to read. And I I thought about it from a, from the, a bad perspective. I saw it just as an entrepreneurship hat or this business hat that I had on and it was even trouble. I didn't realize that even within my business, I still wore different hats. Right. You understand? And, and this is what, what I meant where I see that two different sectors to me. So for example, I have my, my, my what I call, you, call your, 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 your trick stats, the ones that they can't take on, husband, wife, whatever. Right. But then within everything, there are different hats that you put on for those individual pieces. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I normally, I see that as, as five or all this, the inferior, the, the main hats I normally look at. Right? My hard hat, which is when I build it. That mm-hmm. feels a life in a building something. Like a new marriage, right. you have to work, get, get, have to work, get a good get a new business, you have to work, get a good like A new that. job, a new, a new, yeah, a, a new risk. Job, you yeah. have to work on it. And you need the hard hat because there's risk, there's for safety, it's to protect you, but it's also to understand mm-hmm. that this is the process where things are going to be difficult to get your hands dirty. You know, and I think sometimes people, people don't realize that they have to put that hat on and just dig in and do what they have to do. They want to just be that, okay, well, I have, I have a degree, I go into a job, it's just going to work out. <laughs> Even yeah. though you're, you're just getting to the job, you start to the, the hard hat and start to go to work. Build a reputation yeah. for the job, build your own knowledge about the job. You know, you have to build, you have a lot of construction to do within that process to build yourself up in that position, that portfolio. Even if you just got a promotion, it's the same thing. So the hard hat is, to me is really important, right? I, I, I think I, I initially struggled with that particular hat when my business was initially growing because right. I didn't understand what, what it was. Mm-hmm. You know, I had, to, I had to realize, okay, wait now, this is the good feed. This is where I had to like shuffle and dig the, 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 the trench and I had to be working <laughs> up scratchful and playing and yeah, yeah, back yeah. pain and shoulder pain and that kind of thing. So the hard hat. Um, the other hat I, I know, look at it, is, is, well, is it sure a boom's hat or the day stalker hat? That's when you try to figure things out, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so just problem solve and figure stuff out. You know, your style, you had your bills not adding up, you had to figure it out. You had to figure you it out. You can't just say, well, I'm gone, I'm done. You can't say that you had to figure it out. <laughs> you understand? Know, um, you, 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 you want COVID happen, you get your salary cut, you had to make ends meet, you had to figure it out. Yeah. You want to launch a new business, sometimes you have nobody to ask for. You know, you have nobody that can tell you, do this or do that. You had to figure it out. You had to go on YouTube, you had to go on Instagram, you had to go on Facebook, you had to come on Mantle, you had to ask questions and you had to figure it out. You know, and then, well, my favorite hat, the baseball cap now, boy. Have some fun in your life now, boy. Ah. <laughs> just, just put it down and chill out. You know, put it backwards, forwards, sideways, whatever you want, and then chill it out. Mm. But even all those hats, you still want to fling somebody about me sometimes. Correct. Like, Correct. fling them. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Um, so, a, a question as we as we talking about all these hats that you mentioned, right? The hard hat and whatnot. So, we have we have all these multiple hats here. A leader, um, spouse, parent, teacher, entrepreneur, you know. Out of all these hats, right? I think people mostly forget one hat specifically. And that is their personal hat. Mm. So we wear all these hats and we're trying to wear them well. But the main hat, our personal hat, and when I say personal hat, that is the hat that has us taking care of ourselves. Mm-hmm. If we're eating right, exercising, um, getting enough sleep, you know, things that would keep you mentally and emotionally healthy. I think that is the most important hat we need to wear before any other hat. Otherwise, the other hats will have issues. <clears throat> well, right? I think that is the one most important hat that we, we tend to put uh, to the side. And it's only when things happen, we realize that we need to now look for that hat. And sometimes mm. there's a lot of recovery because the hat was in that corner, it gets smushed. So there's a yeah. lot of popping out and fluffing and dusting off the glue, and, you know, and, and fixing the brim mm-hmm. and putting it on properly. And that is take a while sometimes. Sometimes it, and it a process you for that too. Right, you had to wear it longer to get back the shape and yeah. these type of things, you know. 
So people do remember that out of all the hats you wear, one of the most important hat is your personal hat. All right? So guys, at this point, let's let's try to discuss now what are the best ways for them for people to 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 manage mm-hmm. wearing these different hats. <clears throat> All right. Um, one thing I will say for sure in, in managing these hats, wear them one at a time. <laughs> I, I think yeah. that is the most easiest, clear, clear way. <laughs> To manage these hats, uh, but but even if you say that, Chris, I think with that, the same when you maybe four, you have to make sure and put those two together because people right. sometimes lose themselves and that identity hat that you're talking about just now. They lose that sometimes when they put on. They think that they take off that to put on another hat now, body. Mm-hmm. You see, you'll be changing hats frequently, yes. Yeah. But why? But changing the hats for the specific role. Is right. where it, it ties in. And it's not just you swapping because you feel more comfortable in one one day <laughs> over and next. So yeah. it, it ties into being with that specific rule. Like if you, you're dealing with um all right, with you're dealing with your spouse, right? You may not necessarily yeah. need to wear that hard hat. True, mm-hmm. very true. Mm-hmm. All right. Even though it, it could be a serious topic, it may be something you're working on, but it may not require the hard hat. Yeah. This might just require the spouse hat. Yeah. You know, it might require if you're the one that does the accounting and, and manage the finances, you might it might just need that hat or the leadership hat. You know, yeah. and you, you wear that hat accordingly and you're not gonna try to wear the leadership hat and the hard hat at the same time. <laughs> because then being a hard leader with, with, with in the wrong in that wrong context with your spouse in that example may cause issues. So that's why I say wearing one hat at a time, but specifically for the role that you need to wear it for at the moment. Right. What are your guys thoughts on that? That takes us, that takes knowing your hats to wear. That takes knowing the hats that you wear as well. A lot of times, um, persons jump into situations and say they're going to wear this hat and wear this hat and wear this hat. And there's a there's a statement that i use especially with persons who want to and i use this in quotes multitask he who chases after two hairs can end up losing them both you're trying to chase this and chase that and chase the other and and there is no true focus on what you're doing you can end up losing both and and the reason why you're losing both as well is because you're you're you're, you're not one and not helping not in terms of building your personal life with your heart but you're also not familiar with the hats that you're wearing on in the first place. You know that same hard hat? You don't wear on the hard hat at all, but all of a sudden, when things start to get real rough, you want to fling the hard hat on and try to run out. But all the adjusting or any kind of thing like that, you'll be doing yourself more harm than good. So, in terms of the, the hats that you, you gotta know your hats as well too. Know your uh, capability mm-hmm. within your hats to manage them. If it is that when you wear a certain hat, it it will only take you this far, know that within yourself. Know your limits. Know where you need to grow within it and everything like that. Because, I mean, even with hats, when you wear a hat, you, know, you can't wear that all the time. Sometimes your head is satisfied, some of the as the case may be. But once you're accustomed to wearing it, it fits with you. You, part of you, become the hat. So, even if it is that you have a role as a supervisor in the office, and it's a new role that you're putting in, you realize after a while, your personal style begins to get embedded in terms of that role itself. Even if it is that you have your business owner and you're going into this business, so you'll be going on, you know, what certain people say your business should run like, how it should run like, but after a while, your style start to develop it in your business itself so yes you'll be wearing on a different hat but part of you will start to be meshing in with the hat as well too so i think that my answer as well with respect to what you're talking about in terms of not losing your managing. personal self yeah and managing yourself as well you know yeah that's good that's yeah. that's a good point knowing yeah. knowing your hat as well is a good point yes exactly yeah, definitely definitely i think um if i have to give a tip as well for managing your hat um and also say taking care of your hats, right? Mm-hmm. Um, 
you know, we, we, there's a lot of, uh, of introspection that needs to take place sometimes when we have to deal with the different portfolios and different, different things that we have to do in life. Right. And we don't, people don't always nurture and take care of those things. So for example, um, in the home, I just give for example as in the home, right, as a husband, mm-hmm. um, there, there's many different facets of that, that one portfolio. Right. And a lot of times men, men, for example, don't explore all the facets of that portfolio. And to develop that, uh, that, 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 that particular hat right. more and more, to become gotcha. better wearing that hat. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, you can put on the hat once, it can feel uncomfortable and it can just... I mean, I when I used to wear hats more often, long time, I used to do the same thing. There'll be a, a hat that you 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 like the hat, but you might like how it fitted too much. Yeah. So you go you go put it on and you go thing it and you go, you keep adjusting and you never really let it settle on your pocket. You never really you know. Ah. Uh, and mm-hmm. a lot of times people don't really give it one give it time to get into that to get to get to that place where they're comfortable. Um. Two, they don't really take care of it. So sometimes you have if you're, if you're talking about hats in general. I just did a class just now, right? And the, my hat, I had a hat, and he had a stripping sweat now. Right. That had a wash. <laughs> right? Yeah. I had a clean. Yeah. <laughs> I can't put back on that hat if I don't take off the sweat from the last, you know? And sometimes we carry over things ah. from one situation to another. Mm-hmm. Correct. Without really adjusting that hat properly or, or cleaning the hat off properly because, so let's say, for example, um, you're building a business, but you're still, and you're building, uh, no, let's say, for example, you got a new job. You're building a career and you're also building a relationship with somebody. You're not married yet, you're dating. Both are building factors, but two totally different approaches. Mm-hmm. So how you do it. And All if right. you try to apply the same hat to both situations, the same style to both situations, it may not necessarily work. Necessarily work yeah. <laughs> so you don't know, even though you're in the same phase, it's a different hat to fill out away. It's a different style you had to put to the hat. So like I, I was talking to um, a partner mine the other day. And we were talking about the same thing, only the things we had to do. And he made a joke and he said, he said, um, sometimes when you wear your, your husband hat, right, and it has a cap, yeah, I take it back, just to kiss your wife. Right? Hmm. He said, he say, I've learned forward, it's everything else I had to do, 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 do the house. You had to clean up, you had to yeah. thing, you had to thing. He said, when it's, when I said, I'm rich, you had to take it back, just to tell you, if you don't do that, you ain't gonna reach. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, all right. Shun. He said, "Have things. If, if if you don't do that, you'll have things that always end up between you and that person." Correct. And well I was said. like, "Dude, that deep, that real deep." <laughs> you know, and that we don't deep. we don't always think about those things now. <laughs> we don't always think about those things. The things that issues that the hats you wear, you can cause. So I would just say, like, maintaining the hats is really important when it comes to managing the hats. Because if you let hat get too worn out and too tattered, yeah, what do you think supposed to do? Yeah, exactly, and. You see what you just said there, dude, like like bomb drop. That is such a serious thing based based on not the, the hat we had worn, it might be causing that obstruction. Um mm-hmm. and as you say that one way I think that we could look for that, right, in managing our hats to deal with that specifically what you said, is by revisiting the expectation that come with wearing that hat. Right, Very revisit true. the expectations that come with the hat that you're wearing, and yeah. also setting clear expectations mm-hmm. of what comes, which with every hat, because yeah. once you're once if you notice with this hat there's certain obstructions that happen, you will know what. Well, all right, I need to now adjust this, as you mentioned, turn it to the back, yeah. so now you are actually setting new expectations under mm-hmm. this hat so when i'm wearing this hat to do this specific role or fit this specific role right the the expectations there would match yeah and that is something you know that is a, a very good pivotal point that that came up there with, with <laughs> that, that obstruction according to the hat that you have on yeah. dealing with specific roles by definitely revisiting the expectations and then setting clear expectations under the rules that you wear. And as you mentioned, if when you revisit now, you will now see the different parts of that rule that you never explored before. Mm-hmm. That will actually make it a little easier. That's right. Right? You know, we, we, and, and that is in, in, in any space. We might be talking about dealing at home with your spouse and 
doing stuff at home, but in any area of your life, whether it's with your job, your business, if you're accustomed to being the person handling everything, then you might realize, okay, you need to now change that hat to where you're not working in your business, you're working on your business. So you go from being that one-man army to a leader and you, you, you delegate yeah. tasks, whether it's your virtual assistant or you hire someone, you know, you, you change those hats and those roles to make certain things yeah. easier, not just for you, but for your business, mm -hmm. you know. So exploring that, you know, by, by revisiting and, and, and defining the, the expectations does help a lot. So, you know, just to, just to recap what we spoke about, you know, in managing the hats, um, you know, wearing one at a time, all right, that's for sure, specifically mm -hmm. to the role that you want that you're, you're doing, you know, knowing your hats, all mm -hmm. right, and not just putting it on Helter Skelter, yeah. all right, of course, you know, taking care of your hats, as Mike Hyatt just mentioned, and allowing the hat to, to get time to fit properly, all right, mm -hmm. and of course, you know, revisiting and defining or setting clear expectations for that hat. All right. And I, I want to actually touch on a couple of questions I see in the chat. Um, yeah. Question for Miss Dates. Good night. Thank you for tuning in. Um, she was wondering if any, if we can multitask wearing these hats. Um, I would, I would actually say. It depends on the task. I, I, it depends on the task, but because I'm not one into the whole multitasking thing, I think we need to actually give attention to certain tasks so we give it that energy mm -hmm. instead of part of our energy. Um, I don't always encourage multitasking, right? Mainly for that reason, because you can't wear half a hat in a sense, mm -hmm. right? You, you can't just rest it on your head and it's leaning like TI. No. You you need to, <laughs> you need to actually wear it properly and give focus to what it is you're doing because many times, as we know, with multitasking, you will start somewhere and then you will multitask on something else and then the previous task suffers because mm -hmm. they're not always aligned or or in, in cohesion with each other. So you uh, but you know because of because of life you'll find that. We would often feel like we're wearing um, multiple hats. You may be a, a, a teacher or a leader, you're thinking that you wear multiple hats, but the truth is you didn't realize it's one hat with a wider range of a definition. Yeah. Uh, with a see, wider I think, range of um, meaning. When it comes to, for example, multitasking, right? I think we have to be, we have to be understanding, first of all, what they mean by multitasking. Mm -hmm. You know, because, um, I think sometimes we, we we misinterpret multitasking for simply wearing different hats, right? Meaning that let's again go back to the role of a of a husband or a father, right? As a father you have or a husband you have many different roles to begin with. Right? That yes, on a day to day basis you have to work on and give your attention to. So you have so Alistair for example, right? Alistair has a wife, he has a son, he has a daughter. I forgot your information there, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to then give what is needed for his wife mm -hmm. what is needed for his daughter which could be different from what his son needs mm -hmm. right then he has his job right. then he has um, um, even within the home you'll have accounting you'll have um, education you'll have real life education other than school mm -hmm. there's so right. many different things he has to do as that one which some people will love that as one hat Father, right? right? But you can't take up your husband hat and just be a father longer than your wife can live. You have to also, I said, some people can look at that as multitasking. Yeah. But what that is, like you said, is a hat with a broader brim. Correct. Right? It covers more expectations, right? Yeah. A father, I, I can tell you from my dad, right? Um, when I was younger, playing football and stuff, a lot of people used to always envy the relationship my dad and I had. Right? If I have a cricket game, daddy day. If I have a football game, daddy day. If I only bench or a plane, daddy day. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if I have a training, a training session, he come in. When I reach home, we train him together too. If it's schoolwork, he help me with that. If it's, so for me in my life, I would say he wore many hats. Mm -hmm. He would say he was just being a father. Correct. You understand? Uh. I would say he covered many different tasks. But he would say that is just 
being a father. That is one job. You know, so I think sometimes we need to understand too what multitasking really means to us, or if we just not looking at the scope of what we're doing. Correct. You know, so as a, as a, as a, as a home builder, as a family, there's a lot of things that come in building a family, building a home, expanding True. your family, expanding your reach. When it comes to a business, there's a lot of things involved in doing that. When it comes to being an employee, your job itself, nobody's job. I don't think anybody's job, anybody's job has a one task. True. Right. It depends on any job, eh? Well, yeah. give, I'll, I'll give one job, one Actually, time. no, no, no. I take back. I take that back because of, you know there was some nice little clothes and any other related activity that would be passed upon yeah. you. Exactly. <laughs> because in a job right. portfolio, your job spec, there's always putting a little line. A little line. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> exactly. So I think multitasking sometimes is just understand that these are the requirements of what we involved in right now or what we. Okay, she, 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 made a, she, made a, she gave a definition for what she referred to as multitasking. You did more than one task at the same time. Right, right so now, this is what I would say. Um, again, when it comes to that, for example, again, let's use the, 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 the it depends to me on your situation. Mm-hmm. So, for example, as Alistair, as my example still, as a husband, father, whatever else, on a daily basis, he has to multitask between what is required for work, what is required for the kids. Was you care for the wife? Was you care for the house? Mm-hmm. These are all we as guys know. You have the garbage to take out, you have ways to wash, you have clean up to help with, you have this to do, you have that to do, while still getting everything else done. Mm-hmm. These are the fantastic three days to compete, but you have to then manage those. But those are still all under being a husband. Being a husband. Yep. You yep. know, so if, if you look at somebody who then has to do, let's say, employee and they're setting a business. I would I would hardly ever advise somebody to work on their business while on the job. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Because you can get you, you can get caught up real easy. I did it for a little bit and I realized that it was affected my job performance. Mm-hmm. I, I think I mastered that, yes, so <laughs> right? Yeah. That, so, but you see, well right, Chris, so again it depends on the job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like being an IT would have given you some time when it's just you. Yep. And you had to be on your PC. I was working in customer service, so if I just sit on the, on the computer here all day, somebody yeah. go wonder, but what are you doing? Without you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it depends on where you are. You're, not everybody could, could be allowed the opportunity to, to multitask like that, but it depends on where you are, you can work on more than one thing. Correct. Correct. But something will always get more attention, though. That is like very said, true. Yeah, something will always get more attention in some form. And that is just the one thing that you have to be wary of when quote unquote multitasking. You know, Miss um, June Smith Simon, our VIP listener. Yes, thank you once again. She <laughs> says, "People' expectation depends on the hat you are wearing." That mm-hmm. is correct. You know, as we said there, in managing the hats, you know, revisiting and setting clear expectations does help um, so that people know exactly what to expect all right people know exactly what to address you with and what not to address you with they'll know hey don't step to miss miss simon with no nonsense right <laughs> they will know that right based on the expectations and what you set under that hat oh, yeah. right and making it known like yeah the label has be on the hat in front bang yes bs free zone you know what i mean simple as that so that's that's good um boss lady miss thomas you know, i love that line is, if if your hat is too big it will drop over your eyes and you may, may not be able to see too well yes yes yeah, because some people wear in the wrong size hats right which is very true some people um honestly you stay like stay in your lane yeah they want to take one too much like <laughs> Stay in your lane. Don't try to take up too much. Don't try to outstretch yourself mm-hmm. in, in things that don't concern you. <laughs> oh, okay. then. Similarly, yeah. similarly, it had to be too small. I don't <laughs> want to remember this. It's something famous. The hat I got for Christmas is too small. Too small. It, yeah, it, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, too big yeah, up, no? Yeah. Right. Right. That, that, that's so true. It could go either way. And I remember, um, I remember, um, uh, a couple of years ago, they were going to a football match, and we used to play this side, which is a side from prisons. 
And the side is a, is a prep match, so it's older guys, you know, guys who don't really play much football anymore all the time, but Sunday morning, mm-hmm. Sunday evening is a vibe. Yes, mm-hmm. yes. And while they're sweating, they're drinking a beer, right? Them fellas. When, <laughs> when we used to walk on the field to warm up, our we'll keeper did this. We watch the team, you like, fellas, eh? Um, I don't think I'm ready for this game, you know? So we were like, what do you mean, him? He said, nah, I said, you ready for this match. He said, let's see them fellas. You say, you see, there's no my, there's no my level, there's no my level. You say, when men fat and the overweight and they're running, like me, like me. You say, the men fit, the men will be coming. You say, I good, I, 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 I go sub. So somebody else says, I was good. He literally took off his gloves, gears long, and it was amazing. Like, you man recognize, there's some, so much situation, you recognize. Yeah, there's no my, there's, there's, there's no me, there's no me. And he back out. He was good. And... I mean, it, 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 it's a lesson to learn that, like you said, not sometimes we, we take off more than we can, we can handle. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, I go in, some of them go in too. Some of them jump on it unexpectedly. Right. You know, but the others that we take on for ourselves that we, we're not really ready for. Stay in your lane. <laughs> Stay in your lane. We're not playing that. We're not wearing no big sembreros here. Yes, it may be rainy season, but we have umbrellas. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> so, Miss, Miss Dates was saying then, if we're saying that the hats, um, there can be blurring of the rules. Um, not necessarily a blurring of the rules. Different rules may will will have similar rules and responsibilities. True. There are rules and responsibilities under a leader that you might find under fatherhood. The same thing you might find under being a, a pastor. Same thing you'll find under being a husband. It's not so it's not necessarily a blurring of the rules it's still specific rules because you, you, you ever know like when you're doing a comparison chart you'll see this product tick 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 and then the other one have more ticks under the different scopes of, of, of um, features is the yeah. same way so there'll be different rules specific rules that will just carry similar rules similar responsibilities mm-hmm. so it's not necessarily blurring it's just you do more in others than than than, uh, than necessary you know, and, and that's basically it, but it, it is still separate hats that you will wear. All right. So yes, some hats are caps, some are fedoras, some are the sombreros, some are the wide brims. So you can take more more rules and responsibilities under that. Right. And basically that is what um, mm-hmm. you have to know for the specific rule that you that you are wearing the hat for, which one is required on that time. True that. And some might be just plain like straw hats. It's seasonal. Yeah, it really is not. Mm-hmm. That is so true. That is <laughs> yep. so true. But like uh, someone said before, too, knowing your hat is really important. Right. Because yeah. if you don't know, if you don't know your hat properly, then you'll see some blurring because you, you will know which hat to put on, and you'll mm-hmm. just be like pushing. You know, yeah. so it's important to understand the different rules you play in life and the different hats you need to put on, so that we can then know how to switch which mm-hmm. ones are worn across different platforms, that kind of thing. So, yeah. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. So there, there will be that. There will be that. So, I mean, um, it was a, it was a airful. It was a mouthful. Mm-hmm. There was some bomb drops. <laughs> and I think people took notes. Yeah, we to look. make sure tell a friend if they want to come back and revisit this, this yeah. conversation tonight. Um, it will also be live, on not live. It will also be available on YouTube. On YouTube. Mm-hmm. All right. If not, to, well, if not tonight, it'll be um, there during the week. So you can always go back and check it out for sure. So any any closing comments, guys, as we look to wrap up? I want to ask one question, and probably to sure. us here and to those who are online too. Um, what's your favorite hat to wear? Hmm. What's your favorite hat to wear? <laughs> 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 And guys, you guys can put in the, in the comments as well which hat you believe is your favorite hat too. Mm-hmm. That's right, yes, put it in the comments. Please share it us. Please share it us. <laughs> I'll start like you go first. Wait. <laughs> um <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I mean, 
Yeah, I'm married a few good few years now, but I actually <laughs> love the fatherhood hat. I love that one. I love that hat. I mean, yeah, yeah. It be, it's like you and the kids started from ground zero and growing together. I love that, you know? And I mean, hey, I mean, I, I'm not saying that I'm absolutely perfect. I believe mistakes will have been made, but I mean, it's a journey that we're on. It's a big adventure. I love that hat. I try, try. And it's a yeah, safe yeah, hat. Yeah. What you Chris? What you Chris? Um, <laughs> let me see, boy. There is no puppy hat. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, and I'm, I am saying this not because she's in the next room, but I I, I must say I, I am enjoying my, my husband hat right now. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's, it's because I think I've always looked forward to marriage. I'm probably one of the few guys I know that can say that I look forward to actually getting married. And once you're with the right person, it feels good. Mm-hmm. So wearing that for me so far is like, yeah, best feeling ever. Yeah. Best feeling. And, and I'm actually enjoying having it on and, and, you know, adjusting it accordingly. Why is my camera glitching? Sorry about that. And mm-hmm. adjusting it accordingly. And, you know, some days it might lean. Some days I'll straighten <laughs> it. Some days I'll turn it around. Right? Mm-hmm. Because, you know, you're, you're getting it comfortable. You know? All right. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it might sound repetitive, yeah, but I think from, we, we all on the same page. Yeah. Like, for me, it's the same thing. I, I That husband, had, like I said, is one that I would have looked forward to for a very long time. Mm-hmm. And fine, you, you know, like, I, it's like this, right? You know, when you're growing up, there's certain things that, that, you, that you tell yourself, when I just eat, I've got to do so and so and take, take, take. Yeah. It's one of those things that I said, said for them, like, that I, I, I was really looking forward to. And I think that taking your time to choose the hat was really important mm-hmm. to find right. one that was ideal for you so um I, i'm thankful for that because it's the one that you know you, you doesn't want to take off at all you know what i mean and i i love that about um myself and my wife that i'm really enjoying that particular hat um i think what i like about it is that we are building together so like even the even the other hats that i may require to wear um whether we're in a building phase whether we're looking trying to figure something out we can do it together now. Mm. Yeah. So, and I just have myself put on a hat and just one. Then I myself and show and then like, what's that on your head? But it's like, <laughs> help, know, help, maintain, you know, help maintain, help maintain the hat. That's it all. You understand? You know? And I think yeah. that's really important in relationships and even with family and friendships so that they can recognize the hat you require to wear and either match it or just Correct. support it now. So I think that is my favorite there. Like, the fact that we could, we, we, that, 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 that marriage hat has so many different layers to it. You know what I mean? It, it's sure. fun. It's fun. I saw the hat of love. The hat of love. Hat of love. Mr. Simon. The yeah, hat well, of love. Yeah, you, we, we know you're a walking bundle of love, Mr. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> All right? We know, we know. We know. Yeah. That's wonderful. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, the many hats, managing the many hats that we wear, I, I think it was a good topic tonight, guys. Um, and as always, thank you to everybody that tuned in. Um, right now, you should be wearing your safety hat and indoors mm-hmm. because it's about nine o'clock curfew time. All right, yeah, we look good. <laughs> we we're not here playing stuff with Sufan Temple Run with the police outside. Everybody's indoors, keeping safe. All right. Um, so you know, we we look forward to you all joining us again next week on the conversation for another great topic. So do look forward to that. And as always, we, we always want to encourage everyone to adhere to the COVID regulations. Please, social distance, wash your hands. And if you're outside, please wear your masks. Most definitely, I know they're encouraging us to double mask even right about now. Mm-hmm. And as and for those that are, um, you know, in that age bracket and stuff to go and get the vaccines, you know, if it's, if it's your choice, please do get it all right let's try to take care of everyone in our circles and our families and our households all right i just want to add one thing um just one health tip for those everybody generally um when it comes to wearing masks it's something that we, i've been realizing more and more lately um because of the masks a lot of the moisture from our from our bodies i've been also drawn out when we speak as well and it does cause eventually more dryness in the throat and going on the passage so in these times it's really really important to drink a lot of water yes stay hydrated 
And also in the coffee, I have had, had beverages in the day as well. Some morning, mm-hmm. I have some hot tea. And another yes. one is coffee. I have like some hot green tea. Green tea. And drink a lot of water. Some orange green tea. Just to make sure tea. that you're maintaining. Exactly. So to make sure I'm maintaining that good passage and everything. Because I tell you, this masking and double masking even will make it worse. Worse. Correct. It's, it's safer, yes. But it can make it worse in terms of respiratory issues. So make sure you're drinking a lot of water to keep that area nice and moist. Yes, so, sir. That's right. Agreed. <laughs> agreed, agreed, agreed. Yes. Very serious, people. That is an excellent tip. Let's, oh. let's try to take care of ourselves. That's All right. right. All right. Well, please do join us again next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. All right. <laughs> this is your co host, Christopher Crossley, aka Mr. Crossley, sir, along with my two brothers, my two champions, saying good night. Good night. Good night, guys.